Welcome to a Photoshop tutorial sponsored by journeyadvertising.com. Visit Journey Advertising for all of your advertising needs. What we want to show you today is a Photoshop tutorial of how to make a glamour picture. So we're going to take this picture that was just taken by a digital camera against a white wall and we'll make it look a little bit more glamorous. So we already have our our invisible background and we're going to control paste that picture in here. Now we're going to spend some time to delete the background and we'll do that a little bit with the lasso tool, a little bit with the polygonal tool and even a little bit with the magic wand. Uh, and you can kind of go about it whatever's best with your picture but for this one it'll take a little bit of doing since there are different shades of gray and white. We want to create a new layer here and then on that layer it's going to use these la these colors here to make a cloud similar to looking what a photography studio would look like in the back. And we want to choose render cloud. So that's looking pretty good. And I'll put the people layer on top of it so we can see. And as you can see, it's definitely an imperfect cutting job. Uh, we still have some white showing around here, around the hair, and a little bit in the middle. So we can go back and cut that out, or we could cheat a little bit and change these colors to make them lighter so that we couldn't see as much. But I'm going to go ahead and cut. So now these people look really superimposed. So we need to change that. Let's click both these layers and we're going to merge the layers. And we're going to do that because we want to choose our blur tool over here with a pretty high strength. And we're just going to blur all over the edges of the people. And what that's going to do for us is it's going to give the impression as if they're two, the two pictures are one, like we're actually in a photography studio rather than some that looks extremely superimposed. So we'll really go over some of this stuff here. And it might not look like we're doing that much until you get up close. You get up, you can see what the ring actually is doing for us. Can you see that? Takes off all these rough edges and kind of blends those two pictures together. And like I said, from far away you really can't notice too much but just that slight, slight difference um, of blurring it will make it look more like one. So now let's get and let's fix some of the blemishes on the faces with the spot healing brush. Uh, the spot healing brush only exists in CS2 and CS3. Um, so if you have a different version, you're not going to have that. <clears throat> and we want to keep changing the size of the brush to meet to match these blemishes um, with the curly braces the left one makes it smaller and the right one makes your brush bigger or you can change it up here Now we have most of our blemishes out of the way and we're going to choose the lasso tool to choose regions of the face. These regions cannot get into any parts of curves, deep curves like around the eyes or around the nose or around the mouth um, because what we're going to do is we're going to blur them to give the impression or the look of having powder makeup on your face. So we'll choose that region and then we'll go to filter blur and we want to choose a Gaussian blur and here we can kind of see if we choose too much way too strong so we want to choose something around that there maybe a little bit higher choose about there and now her forehead looks flawless and we'll do that with similar region to the face remembering never to get into any major creases Gaussian blur Control F to get back to that Gaussian blur. 
Now we want to change the teeth. Getting into the teeth will click the color and we'll have to keep changing this tolerance up at the top so it matches teeth quite well. Okay, that's a pretty good, well, let's see here. That's a pretty good selection. So now I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and then we're going to choose Brightness and Contrast. And to make too much of a change here, it becomes very obvious. So we only want like a 6, just a slight, slightly wider smile. And we'll do the same thing to him. And like I said, if you change that too much, the, the result is going to be far too obvious. So we only want to make minor adjustments there. Now the eyes. We want to make the eyes look a little bit brighter in color, but we cannot change the black pupil in the middle. Otherwise, again, it will be far too obvious. So we'll choose image adjustments, and then we're going to choose color balance here. She has green eyes, so we'll bring green pretty substantially to 23. The eyes you, you need to be very careful with not to change the pupil or any white spots, but the, the outside part is actually a little bit tougher to see, so if we don't turn it up to at least about 20, usually won't make a difference at all. So sorry, we don't give him red eyes, we'll give him blue. Oh, sorry, we'll give her green. The other eye was green. So see how much greener her eyes are now? And to him, we will give blue eyes. Now we don't have time in this tutorial to go through everything, but we can check out the before and the after. So you can see the skin is perfect, the teeth are whiter, the eyes are bluer or greener, We've meshed into the background. We've been put on a professional background. Um, you can kind of skinny, skinny up the necks. Um, if you have wrinkles or hang downs, you can bring them up with the smudge tool on 100% and uh, have a full Photoshop makeover. Welcome to a Photoshop tutorial sponsored by journeyadvertising.com. Visit Journey Advertising.